Okay, okay. I'm going to get my headset so you guys can hear me better while people are coming on. And then we're also going to uh, I just sure realized we I actually went live. the car up. So, again, we're down here at St. Peter's Hospital, Olympia, Washington. If you can get down here and support, um, that would hey, be great. Guys. Hey, guys. Hey. Wait hey, for Chrissy hey, to hey. get her, her supporters on and we'll start telling the story. We have had a great communication. Need a tag, 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 tag. And Everybody tag, please. The father and he's going to go down here shortly to stand. With what do you us. need out of here? Uh, just my AirPods in the center console. Yeah, I can grab them real quick. Everybody that's hopping on, start tagging people, please. We're going to go live down here in um, Olympia. I can't open it. How do you open it? How do you open it? No, it should just be in the center console, right by your coffee. Sit sideways. It's a little piece. Sorry, you guys. She forgot her little... Got it. Okay, here we go. Um, down at... Uh, St. Peter's Hospital. Rosa, Nana, Nana, if you can tag all the pages, that really would be awesome. All the people heading from Clark County. Um, um, really anyways, awesome. we just got over here. We're gonna get ready to meet up with everybody down here, and um, we're over at the Olympia St. Peter's Hospital. Anybody that can get down here, we would really appreciate your support. I can really use the help right now, and uh, got Kelly Stewart over here. Hey guys with People Rights Washington, and um, we're gonna see what the hell's going on, because this isn't okay. Been yeah. talking about this crap happening for too long, and um, got a mom and a father here with a newborn baby, and mom has been separated from baby for how many days now? Uh, she was born day before yesterday at four o'clock in the morning, or, I'm sorry, uh, yes, day before yesterday at four o'clock in the morning and uh, the mom tested positive for COVID. After testing negative with her midwife, father also tested negative from the midwife, and then the hospital does a test, and lo and behold, it's positive. This mom has lupus, so she has been quarantining for over three months. It's across here. She's been quarantining for over three months because she was so concerned about getting sick, and she's really, thank you. Um, you know, she's just really been concerned. This is not a family that's being reckless. Um, this is not a family that uh, doesn't um, believe that the virus is real. This is a family that has been quarantining for three months because of their concern. Um, I think I'm going to set. I gotta set, my set right here so for a second. Hold. I know I can't even. I gotta adjust here. Yeah, not so. only that, spoke to a uh, father. Um, Let's walk over here now and see. Last night and today, and um, it is sick. It's sick. They're going to release mom, but they have baby and NICU. And this is the thing. There's a pattern, you guys. There's a pattern I've actually been sitting back watching at a nationwide level. Um, moms are having babies about anywhere from three to five, six weeks early. So there's some kind of testings that moms are doing right before giving birth and um we're we're actually working on figuring that part out but we need to seriously realize that these NICU babies all of a sudden that they're taking um they're healthy they're healthy and the only craziest part is one baby was put on a, a ventilator over in I want to say Gosh, dang it. It was, it was towards the East Coast a couple weeks ago. And the baby was completely fine before the ventilator, you guys. This stuff is sick, and it's disturbing, and it needs to stop. Yeah. So We're going to be out here um, today. So uh, long and the short of it is mom's being released. The father was removed yesterday by police force from the hospital because he would not take the hospital's COVID test. He did take the midwife's test, and he was negative. The hospital will not accept that as enough. Um, the mother took the... the um, midwife's test and was negative uh, and the test the hospital forced her to test while she was here to deliver the baby is four weeks early almost six pounds healthy beautiful the the dad that we spoke to on the drive here he cannot get any information about his child he has no idea 
how his child is doing. They will not give him in, any information. Mom cannot see the baby until she tests negative, and they said it could be a couple weeks until yeah. that happens. So mom is being released today and being told, go home, we will take care of the baby. Medical you just need to, You need to get a negative test, and the baby has to feed like 50 times because, um, because he was four weeks early and it's a moving target so the dad has said okay so after 50 feedings the bit he can come home well we're, we'll reevaluate it at that time right um, the dad said when we were on the way here he said if my child needs to stay in the hospital and be cared for that's what i want but they're not letting me make that decision i'm not being allowed to find out Second what's going opinion. on same with the mom and decide if the child needs any more care he's nursing he's breathing on his own he's basically just he's in an incubator good. right now yep um, and they're just maintaining his temperature. But because the parents cannot be in here with him, the father is saying, you either release my child or you let me or my wife in there with my child. And they have said no, and they had him escorted off of this property right behind me uh, yesterday, and he was sent home while the mom was left in the hospital room by herself with no husband by her side and no baby. This, all this COVID crap is, you guys, this is just nothing but communism. They're completely taking away um, the power that America had, which was we could go to any hospital we wanted, we could get all the care that we needed, we could go to any restaurants, any shops, any food suppliers. They are cutting off our food supply, our medical supply, and they know that people need to get into these hospitals for care, and COVID is being used. Look at the statistics, 99% chance, 99.9% .9 chance of living if you have COVID. What does it matter if the dad won't take a test? They have his child. Yep. They have his child. Nobody has symptoms of any illness. Um, you know, so we're, we're gonna be out here standing. We're asking, pe there's people that have been um, parked and are gonna come out here and stand with us. And um, we're gonna stand, this, this child needs to be reunited. The father and the mother need the information. The hospital is not the parent. They do not get to decide what is best for the child without discussing these things uh, with the parents. So Ollie, we're gonna- St. Peter's Hospital in uh, Olympia, mm -hmm. Providence. Providence, yep. St. Peter's freaking hospital so in Olympia. Olympia. In Olympia, okay. Baby down is here. healthy. There is absolutely no good reason for them to keep baby. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, not yep. okay with that crap. So this is where we're gonna be today, guys. Um, this is I, I we're set up at the emergency room over um, at the hospital right now. We're gonna be on the main road. We're getting ready to meet up with a couple people that are already here. And um, it's sick, you guys. This is sick, and it's not okay. Um, I, I just got done working on another case, what, four days ago? That was happening um, in Tennessee. And then the week before that, it was freaking Minnesota and Manapi. Like, come on. This is insane, and it's not okay. And um, hang on. I got to freaking keep an eye out on Kelly and grab our stuff. Jesus. Um, but um, in every single case that we have been doing, it's the same crap. It's the same nonsense of um, just taking rights and stomping on them as if they don't, uh, they shouldn't exist. And holy crap, there's a spider it's on my coffee. Can't believe I didn't just scream like a little freaking baby. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I saved you guys from me screaming my freaking head off just now, but um, oh boy, here we go. So, anybody that can get down here, you guys, we can use some serious support right now. Um, but this is happening nationally and it's being covered up and I've been saying that I've been saying that for a while now they keep covering this crap up with um, the riots and hoping that nobody pays attention and these cases are hitting my inbox uh, they got police at the door they knew we were coming <laughs> uh, crap I'm gonna turn the camera around for a second hold on Here is Providence policy. Yes, Holly, please back that up for me so I can understand what the hell we're dealing with.
Can you be on camera? So they separated you from your wife? Well, you know, you have a person in an emergency situation. Right. She can come in. But you can't because of COVID, right? In Texas, same hospitals. Uh huh. Yep. Oh, well, they're a Republican governor. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Inslee College. Yep. No, go for it. That's right. That's right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna use our rights too. Yep. Right. I know that if had their loved ones go in there and their loved ones don't come out, they died alone. Thank you. Oh my God, you guys, this is see here it is. Show the policy for pediatrics. Holly, can you text it to my phone, to my other phone, so I can. Um, Look at it while I'm still on live. Yep. Please, love. This thank you. This is a you. dictatorship. Is what Washington is under right now. And uh, In Inslee caught more than a virus from China. He caught their communism also. So <laughs> you're be off your so, I love uh, it. Glad your wife's okay and good. And no advocate. You can't be in there to see how she's doing or check in on her. The only way we've been able to contact is phone. Phone only. Wow. This is crazy. This has got to stop. Sorry about that, hon. God bless you guys. You too. You guys hear that firsthand. So, um, this is just the beginning, though. Um, it's sick, and uh, it needs to freaking stop. So, I had no idea the emergency rooms are like that now, too. That's, um, that's freaking disturbing. I'm sorry. There's no way in hell. My loved one, after seeing what I've seen in the last 10 years, okay, not just now, 10 years. How do you think my freaking dad died? Okay, no IV, no fluids, but straight uh, coma for two weeks straight with morphine. They overdosed him on morphine. I will never stand back. I will never allow for a family member to die the way my dad had a freaking die. I can promise you that. If you guys don't wake up and realize this crap has been going on for a long time, but now more and more people are trying to stand up and stick up for their loved ones, their babies that are getting taken right out of their arms. Get real, okay? The nurse, Erin, she already came out. She, she exposed New York. She exposed everybody. Let's not be stupid about this anymore. Let's wake up and realize that enough is freaking enough and they're done. They're done freaking lying about this crap, okay? It's exposed. It's out. Get over it. Nobody cares, really. What we do care about is standing up for our rights and standing up for the you know little ones that don't have a voice and the little ones that they continue to take uh, without having any rights to take them. Do you want me to set this over there? Yeah, you can set that stuff back there or maybe here. Where? So wherever you want. On this stand. Are we gonna stand right here though? Yeah, I think we'll wait We're going to try to stand at the main entrance till some people show up. Um, we're all kind of spread out because there's so many freaking entrances to this place. So if you guys are showing up, come to the emergency room, even though um, that's not the side that mom's on right now. But she should be getting released. And um, I told dad, I said, once she gets released, then we'll focus on the baby. But she needs to get out. We need to get mom out safely. Um, she has not been able to see baby since the baby was born. Do you understand how many freaking tests she's taken? And one was positive, one was negative, one was, I can give a crap because it's all BS, but um, it's not okay. It's not. There is no legal grounds that they can stand on and sit here and say that, hey, you know what? We have every right to take your child because you're endangering your child. No, you are, okay? Putting them in the incubator, the dad said before they did that, the baby was fine. The baby was breathing. The baby is healthy. You're talking a healthy baby that could go home, okay? And the minute dad just went to the bathroom, this is how sneaking, conniving they are, you guys. That's what I'm saying. I don't care who you are. Don't leave your baby alone. Don't. And um, um, he goes to the bathroom and he comes back. And they put him in the incubator and said, oh, that's where the baby has to stay now. No bull crap. That's, dad was by the baby's side the entire time up until then. And then forced dad to go out. And if not, they threatened him. 
So total deja vu for me. They did that kind of crap to me when I was with Kai. When I tried to take her out of the hospital, they called their stupid police task force. They came and they said, you can go, but your child ain't going anywhere. Really? Since when? I thought this is freaking America. I thought we have the right to a second opinion. I thought we have medical rights. What are we doing? Why are we standing by this crap? But then we're willing to go out in the streets and to riot? This is where the freaking riot should be happening, okay? Peacefully. Not talking about stupid crap, but you know what? This is where people should get irate, because guess what? They don't judge. No, they're gonna take every single freaking kid they can. They're not discriminating, you bet. You bet. They want every single child that they can snag up and they're gonna continue to do it and there's nothing we're gonna freaking do about it but we're gonna sit back and allow this crap to happen while everything else, the freaking world just what, goes to crap? Are you serious? How much more depressed can this freaking world get? Really, I, I just, I wanna know that. I'm so livid. And yes, this is where my heart will always go to freaking crap and shatter because it's not okay. It's not. Anyways, we're going to try to get mom out. After we get mom out, we're going to deal with the baby and the situation there. Um, I have some phone calls in to a couple attorneys. Um, we're going to get... Um, uh, cease and desist letter so they can back up and if they still don't back up then we'll continue to move on to the next step and the next step but um we're not gonna stand for it sorry go go freaking take your own kids you, you want kids go have your own kids give them up to whatever agency you want for whatever the hell you want to continue to steal children for you sickos because if that's what you stand for and, and a couple of you nurses that came onto the thread and you want to sit here and expose yourself that you're a nurse at this hospital and you're talking about her test results and you're talking about, uh, you know, how stupid we are. Really? How stupid are you? First of all, HIPAA violation. Wake up. Okay. And I got your name. I have your screenshots and let me see you back on these feeds. I dare you to. First of all. Second of all, if mom is healthy, baby's healthy and dad is healthy, that baby needs to go home. Period. Okay, we're not gonna sit back and allow a ventilator to all of a sudden appear and baby needs a ventilator. Screw that. Not happening. That is not okay. Okay, it's disgusting and it needs to stop. And all you nurses that are in on this, I have no words for you besides karma. And God's gonna deal with you one day. Okay, you wanna be a nurse? You wanna be a hero? Stand up while you're in that damn hospital and say, you know what? This is wrong. This is sick. I have so many nurses that have backed us up 100%, okay? Medical field, you name it, doctors even, that say, keep doing what you're doing, Christine. It's happening, it's real. Don't freaking listen to anybody. You're on the right track. And you know what? I know I am, because I sat back and witnessed way too much. I ain't stupid. Doesn't take a rocket science to see corruption. Doesn't take a rocket science to see that these people are wrong. They're wrong. And yes, Washington and Oregon, I've been saying it for the longest time, are some of the worst states in the country. And we're right here, up in Olympia, Washington. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Hang on, you guys, I gotta keep moving for a second. <clears throat> but we're one of the worst two states up here, you guys. And it's insane and it's wrong. And we need to seriously stand up and just say, hey, When's enough enough? You know what I mean? When are we going to stand together and unite on the right thing, on the right freaking agenda? You want an agenda? Start saving the children, okay? You want an agenda? Go get your PH and go do whatever you need to do because guess what? There's so many kids coming out of these tunnels that are real, okay? It's real. I've seen way too much and I've seen things on the dark side of the web that I promise you, none of you ever want to freaking see in your life. Okay, but this stuff is real and they're not stopping until we rise, until we unite together and say this crap is done. It stops here because if it doesn't, guess what? You're next. I've told you guys this for three years now. It can happen to you. Kylie made her own video, cried out to everybody. This can be your daughter. Help, help. How many more kids have to beg 
for freaking help before anybody else steps in. That's all I want to know. <coughs> I'm going to flip the camera real quick. <clears throat> We have some people that have showed up. <clears throat> Thank you. Man, I was up all night, you guys. I can't, just cannot. This has got to be shared. This craziness has to be shared between all of us, you guys. If only a couple of us are carrying the, the most of it, you know. I'm working with advocates all over our country. And everybody is struggling with help. And they're like, dude, there's not enough help. There's not enough help. There's not enough foundations. Yeah, you're right. That's why I'm doing what I'm freaking doing and creating certain things and foundations because people need help. When they get attacked by them, they get so many left, right hooks that by the time they wake up and realize, and I was talking to dad and telling him this, and he goes, that's exactly how I feel just in two days. He goes, they're trying to bury us. They're starting lies. And I said, dude, that's how they work. That is just how they work. They spread lies. They start to say things that are untrue. They're saying that you're doing things when you're not doing certain things. And this poor guy, I just, I feel for him. My heart feels just shattered for, for mom and dad. And um, mom sitting in the freaking hospital last night bawling her eyes out okay she can't see the baby doesn't know if she's gonna get the baby back for what you guys for what okay infant covid kidnapping look at that freaking sign right there there's the truth sorry but i'm not sorry anymore i'm not sorry for the truth i'm not gonna ever apologize for exposing the truth not anymore and if you don't like it get off my freaking pages i don't care anymore i don't because you know what it's your fault that we allow for this crap to happen. Those of you that come up against it, you're either a troll or you're not informed enough to wake up and smell the reality of what's really happening in our country right now. And I'm not going to sit back and allow for people to just come in or hospitals, nurses, doctors. I don't give a crap who you are. You have no right to take anybody's child. Do you not get that? Okay, we're not a communist country. You cannot just do that anymore. Sorry. And they use platforms like this. Oh, COVID. Why? Because they scared the crap out of everybody and lied and lied. And now what? The truth came out. Too many nurses, thank God, came out and exposed and told the truth. And guess what? We're not going to sit quiet no more. We're not going to just sit back and allow for these scare tactics and this fear mongering BS that you guys instill in people to be the reason why you take children away from innocent parents to be the reason why you come in and take babies out of these two three states why because Inslee and Kate got together and they're all in on this screw you okay because I can promise you this time around signatures will happen this time around you will not have it infiltrated enough to screw it up for anybody. Mark my words on that, okay? We need to get them out. Those that stand against us as the people that pay for our freaking country to make it go round, we pay for their checks for what? For them to steal our kids? Since when? Come on, you guys. I don't care who you are. I know if you just even have an inkling deep down in your stomach saying something's not right believe it it's not it's not go to Kylie's fight go look back just the last year in videos to see and understand what these scum buckets have done okay and what they do is they infiltrate pedophiles in every single system from caseworkers to nurses to everything and I'm not I'm not the one that will ever say every cop is bad or every nurse is bad because guess what my own sister's a nurse Okay, not against nurses, 
not against doctors. I have so many freaking friends. My One of my closest friends is a doctor that helped me understand and what to do because guess what? While he was in college, he came across how to be able to help people with serious illnesses and went to prison for 15 years because he started talking and that was 20 years ago. You don't think we have a problem? You don't think this has been happening for far too long? Think again, it has way too long. And I'm telling you guys, there's doctors and nurses that are sick of it. There are retired ones that have spoke out. Even when I was up at the hospital for my own daughter's case, I was up there and they spoke out so many different times. They sat there and said, this is wrong. We will not just stand by you guys doing this to people, okay? Innocent people, but they do it. They do it and guess what? Those doctors either got retired or they got fired and it's not okay. It's not. I got out by the grace of God by having an amazing nurse after she was a nurse for 30 years. That's how I got out. So is there good nurses out there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I, I will thank God for her every single day. She's seen the pain in mine and Kylie's heart and eyes and she said enough is enough. And she got me out of there. But you know what? It's going to take people like that that say, I'm sick of this crap. I'm sick of seeing the entire country burned down okay for whatever I, i'm not gonna ever be one to sit here and talk about what really happened because guess what i know too much and um i know far too much and it's just gonna, i'm gonna just leave it to that but we're okay with burning down our country and taking this country out but we're not okay for standing together and uniting because we're told that, well, only if you're rioting is it okay and you're safe. COVID only picks people out, handpicks them especially. Did you guys not know that? Well, let me tell you how it works. There's corrupt governors that will tell you, you cannot go outside and you better put a mask on because you're jeopardizing yourself and everybody else. But guess what, Kate? You don't get to pick and choose who gets to go outside. You understand that? You can dictate your own household, but you ain't gonna dictate these states anymore. You ain't gonna dictate anybody in Oregon or Washington and tell us when we can and can go outside. Let me just tell you that. But she supports, you guys, guess what? She supports hatred. She supports the crap that they're doing in our states right now. She says only if you're gonna go outside, you can go outside for those riots. What does that tell you? We have a problem in our system. We need to wake up and say, that's it. Enough is enough. Out you guys go. Sorry. No more of this crap. I'm sick of it. And I will not stand down. Threaten my life all you want. As I am still here and I'll still be here. As long as God gives me a breath to breathe, I will continue to fight this fight. Okay. I've been threatened, you guys. My life has been threatened because I'm doing what I'm doing right now. And I'm just going to be honest because guess what? I'm done. I'm done hiding behind the bushes and trees. I'm done not talking about it, okay? I've been silent. Yeah, I have for the last couple weeks, not knowing whether I should, shouldn't. Well, guess what? I'm done doing just the interviews over the channel. If I can get my foot on the ground, I'm gonna get there. And if I can stand up for the right thing and for the rights of us, because I know what it's like to be in that freaking hospital and to have no one and to feel so freaking alone and to wonder am i gonna make it out or are they gonna throw me in cuffs am i gonna see my kid ever again or am i not because they're threatened to take her and i wouldn't see her again if i dare left that hospital since when is that anywhere near right for us to stand back and to allow for this crap to happen anymore We have rights and we need to remember that. And we need to stand by that. And we need to stand together because this cannot keep happening. I know there's damn good ones in the system. I know that because I work with them every day. But we cannot sit back and keep allowing for this to happen, you guys. 
This is where we should rally. This is where we all need to come and stand together and say, enough is enough. Where's the freaking kid? How many more babies are they keeping in here? How many? Since they're a part of this crap. Where does it stop? You know what I mean? It's absolutely sick. I had to block somebody real quick, sorry. A bunch of freaking trolls want to always get on here and start their crap and say things. Why? Because they're the pedophiles of the world. That's what they do. They attack us so they can continue on their sick tactics. So they can continue on doing what they do with the elites. Well, guess what? We'll continue to do what we do. We'll continue to expose it and until until there's justice for those that have been affected by your three letter system that is supposed to protect our kids until we get that system reformed every single one of us need to stand by each other every single one of us need to have foot on the ground no matter what every single one of us need to say enough is enough my you know how many hundreds of thousands have been affected by this damn system i can't keep up i can't you guys message 24 7 and i appreciate it and i love it god bless thank you and the support is out there you guys we're all doing what we can but i'm telling you sitting back and watching what i've sat back and watched for the last what couple weeks now and the support, I know, I know what we all seen drew out such anger and such irate. But this also should draw the same. You know why? Because they do not discriminate. They will take every single one that they can. And they will take and attack those that cannot defend themselves. Do you understand that? There's a system they try to go by, and especially single parents. So when there's a couple that they're attacking, they'll start normally with mom first, especially the newborn babies. Dad gets kicked out almost immediately. I've seen this happen for the last three weeks, and that's why I kept getting on lives, and I was like, you guys, they're, they're hiding this. They're tucking this under the rug. They're freaking taking kids all over the country. I, I tried, and I have been saying this for a while now. And I'm going to continue to say it. And I'm not the type to ever sit there and say, I knew it. I said it. But I'm going to be the type that says, hey, I've been trying to freaking scream this at the top of my lungs. And all I can say is, if I can sit back for the last couple weeks and watch thousands and thousands come together, I know that there could be thousands and thousands at a national level and I even sat there and posted on the Enough is Enough movement. And I don't know if I shared it on Kylie's fight, but I will. And I said just two days ago, I said, we need to come together. We need to come together and start a national movement on foot on the ground for the kidnaps, for the kids that are coming out of the tunnels. Okay. I have a couple um, healing um, spiritual healers that have been called in. I can't talk too much about it, but let me just tell you this. They've been called in because these kids, you guys, some of them can't even talk. Some of these babies were born down in these tunnels. And there's going to be so much trauma. And by September, the entire nation will be shook. The entire world will. Okay? It's sick. And it's wrong and there's hundreds and thousands that have been affected by this and when we thought that kids were just being snagged up and they disappeared and we were expecting for bodies to pop up you guys there's bodies there's hundreds and thousands of them and they're they're gonna surface and all I can say is I want every single one of you guys to remember these words that I tried to warn everybody on what's to come and just know 
that we're going to need some serious freaking help by so many. And we're going to need to put our heart and our feet on the ground for a lot of these children and for a lot of these parents. Can you imagine being being that parent after having your kid yanked off your front lawn or yanked off the side of the road after school and it's been five years and you haven't seen your child and all of a sudden you get that call of we found her or we found him you know when I didn't know where Kylie was for that week four days five days I don't even remember I lost my freaking mind every second of every day not knowing if she would resurface knowing everything that I knew and um, I don't ever want to feel that feeling again I don't ever want to sit there and be the one on that side of the road to say where's my kid is she okay is she alive and that is a feeling and emotion that is undescribable. But I promise you, there are so many out there that are feeling that right now. And that never got that closure to their little ones. That never got the closure to their baby getting picked up and never been, been seen again. And told that the you know, baby or the child got moved to a facility uh, somewhere else in the nation or in our country. And it's insane. Are you going down that way? Um, hang on, I think we're moving. We're about on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're on eight corners down here, you guys. I'm gonna flip the camera once we make it down at the end of this one. But, um,. Sorry, my freaking, my heart hurts. This stuff is, um, it's really hard for me to do. I'm not going to lie. But I will do it till my very last breath. I will do it till there's change. I will do it until we reform every agency that needs to be reformed. Until we stop this nonsense, until we stop this evil crap. I will continue to stand my ground with every single parent, every grandparent, Everyone that has been affected by this, okay? We're talking 25 years ago. I have stories coming in from 25 years ago, okay? People coming and saying that I was taken from my parents 20 years ago, 25 years ago, 30 years ago. This has been a secret for far too long. And the team that these sick elites have been able to pull together at a national level, at a global level, it makes me out of my skin. They get to do all the funding. They get to hire all these scums that follow you, that try to scare the crap out of you and put fear in you. But this is the thing, you can't, you can't scare someone that's had fear in them of losing their child and thinking their child was dead. You understand that? There's nothing that scares me in this world. Not one bit. Yeah. So, it will take... For an update. Um, yes, I can update. We are at St. Peter's Hospital. Um, here, actually. Let me turn this around on you. Here's where we're at. Okay, medical kidnapping as we speak, right here. St. Peter's Hospital, Providence. And um, we, um, we're done. We're sick and tired of this, okay? They're using COVID as an excuse. Well, um, it's not okay. And mom and baby needs to be together. They belong together. And um, we need to hold everybody involved accountable period. I don't care anymore because guess what? Cat's out of the bag. We all know what this entire 
19 BS is all about. It belongs back in 2019. It's old, old news. So get us something new to roll out with because this crap, I don't care and not believing it for one bit. But baby is healthy. Mom has been tested three times. You wanna hear this? One was positive, one was negative, and the other one is still inconclusive. <laughs> what the actual hell? We're over in um, Olympia, Washington. What are what are we thinking? You know what I mean? Like three different testings. So mom has been taken away. Baby has been taken away from mom. She's been in the hospital. She was coming out at 11. I don't even know what time it is because we got here a couple hours ago. But we need to share this. Get it shared. Start tagging people, you guys. That's how you can help. And if you can get grounds on, if you're anywhere in Washington, an hour away, get up here. Get up here. The stronger stance we have, that's exactly how we got my daughter back. It was all of us standing together and saying enough is enough. This isn't okay. And it's not okay. Okay? We need to seriously say um, this is wrong and we're going to stand for the right side of the law, which is what? Our amendment rights, you guys. We have rights and we have every right to stand here because it's public property, first of all. Second of all, we're not doing anything wrong but bringing attention to the sick individuals that are in this place, okay? They even came on, on the feed and this is what breaks my heart is that there are actual nurses out there that believe this is okay. There are actual nurses out there that have their minds so brainwashed. And if they're not brainwashed, then you're in on it. It's one or the other. Sorry. I, and, and I can say that. You know why? Because I have family in medical. And guess what? They know. They can see it and they can spot it. And I've actually had family that have been in the medical that have pointed things out and have guided me in my own case. So is this okay? No, it's not. Are we gonna continue to stand for it? No, we're not. I don't care if I gotta go from state to state, wherever any case is, I will continue to do it and I will continue to expose it. You know why? Because these are our kids and we have every right to protect them. These are our babies, not yours. I don't care what act you try to stand on because why? You put some bills in with your BS and your lies and you think you can change things? Take your change and shove it where the sun don't shine, okay? We don't need your change. Our country was just fine before your lies and your evil tactics came and started attacking every family. And that should be what we stand against. That is where we should all say, you know what? Yeah, that's right, enough is enough. Bring your feet. Stand on the ground with us, and if not, share the crap out of this. We um, put a post up with the phone numbers to the um, hospital. Blow up the lines. Say, hey, you know what? Release this baby. Release mom and daughter, or uh, mom and baby, before um, we continue to take legal action against you. This is medical kidnapping. Okay? I don't care what anybody says, but this is medical kidnapping at its fullest. And. Um, when uh, the baby has absolutely no health reasons to be kept here besides mom got tested positive but then she got tested negative okay what's wrong with dad what's wrong with grandma what's wrong with grandpa what's wrong with any extended family let's just say we play along with your bs okay but that's the thing it's bs we're not gonna play along with it anymore we're not we're going to stand united. We're going to come together. If I got to pitch a tent out here, I will do that. Okay? We are sick of it. And it needs to end. This agenda is disgusting. And it is so full of nothing but evil. I rebuke it right back down to hell and where it came from. I really do. And I know that we will overcome this. I know that we will stand together with nothing but unity and love and support for one another, that we will get our hands on this entire situation and get it back into the right direction. Believe me and mark my words, it will be done, okay? But this nonsense of, you know, this is the excuse that we're, we're taking a newborn baby. We're not talking about a, a freaking job here, okay? We're not talking about someone just losing income. 
okay? Or, or their business. We're talking about a child. We're talking about a mom that buried her child for nine months and then we think we can just come in and do whatever we want because you sick individuals like to touch children really well too bad the whole world thank you for your evil lies the whole world got to have a nice little break to find out the truth and to find out who you really are i'll get rid of them yep here we go block thank you for uh pointing him out this is the thing they don't like it you know why you guys because we affect their plan they don't like it because this is what they love to do they love to torment families and most of them are sick little single people that can't do anything better with themselves but to sit here and to grab and snag up babies and this is what they do nationally okay well sorry but ain't no media gonna actually tell you this and tell and expose the truth of what they're doing. They actually had, I was shocked. There was one over in Minneapolis and I couldn't believe it. He actually investigated, it's another um, mom I'm helping right now. Get this, she exposed her daughter missing, okay? Um, at three years old, she was missing for three hours. She went to an investigative reporter and said, I need help, I need help. My daughter was missing for three hours. She came back, she is not the same, okay? She's screaming in the middle of the night. You can tell there is some serious abuse going on, okay? The investigative reporter actually steps in. They start exposing the story. Then they also dig deeper. The bus driver was a pedophile. It was a private bus company that somehow third party through the um, school, okay? How in the world this even happened, I don't even want to know. But they caught him. They threw him in jail, and he dropped this little girl off for, for three hours at someone else's home, okay? So these homes are throughout our neighborhoods, you guys. Our kids are not safe. This, this is our neighbors in certain neighborhoods, and we need to start paying attention. We need to start paying attention to traffic. We need to start paying attention to children that don't belong in the homes. And if there's different kids coming in and out, start paying attention, okay? A lot of them do have land, but there are some in neighborhoods and we need to pay close attention. Listen to this, mom gets loud, okay? At that point, CPS was not yet involved, but the minute mom got loud and the investigative reporter came in she got her daughter back right the bus driver ended up saying oh dropped her off at the wrong address blah 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 but her daughter wasn't the same us as parents we know when there's something wrong with our kids okay i'm one that can sit here and stand behind that we know when someone has harmed our children and that's all she wanted to know she just wanted answers and guess what because she got loud the three letter entity came in and yanked her child right out of her care and said, neglect. Neglect because you have been neglecting your daughter because she has a medical, um, the daughter has a slight, um, oh gosh, I don't wanna get it wrong. She has a slight medical issue. I'm just gonna leave it to that. And they came in because she spoke out. That was it. But that is wrong. That is where we need to say, really? So as a parent, and I, they did that to me. They did it to me how many times? They even threw me in freaking jail. I'm still looking at charges. Why? Because I'm speaking out. Because I'm bringing attention, not only to my daughter's case, but now nationally, okay? That's what they do. But that's where, I'm sorry, if I wasn't in my shoes, even for this mom, right here in the hospital, and for the mom across the states, for any case, message us okay we will do it and if we can't we have advocates all over the country that have came together and we're going to continue to come together you guys you do not need to have anything but just a big heart that says i care that's an advocate you do not have to have a special degree you need to have a big heart and to understand that if this happened to you that you would say hell no i'm not gonna stand for this I will put my foot down and I will do what I need to do to back this whole situation up. That's it. That's all we need. So you guys can come out, come out. You guys can get involved, whether it just be sharing, do it.
Oh, goodness. You guys really just can't stay off our pages, can you? I'm looking for her. Hang on. I have my little admins on here and they tag me to let me know when someone has nothing better to do, which has got to be yanking on some of you petties out there. It's pissing you off, huh? Too bad. Too bad because they're not your kids. Too bad you need to go straight to prison and be tortured and be shown the same treatment that you give all these innocent children. That's what you need. And uh, if I could ever, it's all about, get my hands on um, some people. I would love to be in a room behind a closed door with uh, some of these scums of the earth. Pick on somebody your own size. Pick on someone that can actually fight. Pick on someone that a three-year-old child isn't your victim. You know, that's where this is sick. That's where this is wrong. And that's where we need to say, hey, you know what? This is, this is it. We're done. We're tired of this. It needs to stop. So here we have it. We got people on about eight corners out here, okay? We can use some help. Um, we're handling this with a couple. Um, oh, crud. I left my drink over there. Hang on. We're handling this with a couple different people on every corner right now. And um, hang on. Um... Um, damn it. I have my car. Can you charge the too? Oh, you're awesome. Thank or you, the love. Is the black one right there. Awesome. Thank you, love. Let me see a, a couple of the comments. Amen. Do unto others as you would do unto them. Right? Right, Laurie? That's what I'm freaking talking about. Uh, I don't know about there but in the uk if a child has a medical problem they get more money uh they do they do actually thank you for bringing that up so get this you guys right so those of you that know my daughter's case let me explain something to you when they had her okay for the nine months they were getting um uh disability Okay, so they were getting money. Thank you, Janie, for pointing this out because this is really important. Um, yes, please call, share, you guys. Call as uh, we have this live going. Any attention, the most attention we can get to it. Um, thank you, Mel. Wish you could be here too, love. You are a little rock star. A lot of you guys are, and I'm so grateful for all of you guys. But get this. If your child is um, got a medical issue, okay, let me tell you something. I didn't receive one penny because this is, and it, it's not, don't take offense to this, but I've just have always been the one to struggle to sit there um, as a single mom. I've always worked my butt off and not everybody's the same. Some people just can't, okay? I've done everything to not have to depend on our system. So when Kai even got sick, um, I didn't, you know, everybody's like, well, you get on disability, blah, blah, blah. Well, I didn't, but the state did. After they had came in, they took um, disability out on her. So they were getting disability that while she was in their care, right? So get this, this is where things get absolutely disgusting. They were not only receiving disability pay, which I guess when a child is in the system, that pay almost triples. Not only that, then, the pay that they get per child that's in their system, but if the child is sick and is in their system, there is more funding for that. So it's like three different payouts, okay? Then, when I got her back, um, they completely yanked everything out that she was getting um, from underneath her and I, right? Um, any kind of assistance at all. And I was like, hold on a second. Who's getting her disability, right? So I called them and the state is still getting her disability. I'm at war with these scum buckets 
but they haven't had her in two, three, four, four months now. And someone is still taking that money. I don't get one penny and that's okay. You know what? I don't need a penny. I don't need a penny because I know when this is all said and done, they're going to massively pay for it in the financial, in a legal, in an every type of situation kind of way. Mark my words. But for them to sit here and to continue to benefit on my daughter that is medically okay, disabled is disgusting. And it should tell every single one of us that there is absolutely something wrong with this situation. Okay, you want to talk about money being the root of all evil? I've never seen how real that situation and that saying really is until the last two, three years of my life. Actually sitting here and witnessing how money really rules this country. How money rules every single person and how money rules every entity that's involved. And that is why they continue to do what we do. Do you understand if we pull their funding, eventually they're not going to be able to pay out all these people that are helping them to follow people, to scare people, to wipe people off the earth that have spoke out, that um, do what I do. It's scandalous and it's sick and it needs to stop. Okay, we need to be able to have every right as a citizen for that is what we worked for. That's what we, we, you know, pay taxes for to be in this country where we can actually have rights to our children, where we can actually have rights to what we want to do and need to do as a citizen. Okay, but why can't we have those rights the minute they come in and just tear your life apart? Why do our rights go out the window? Why do we come victim to these pieces of crap that come in and destroy our life from every bit, way, and end? I was doing just fine. I wasn't on the system. I was working my butt off as a single mom. I was giving my kids the life they could only dream of. And because they come in with a left and a right hook and they do what they do, you can't get back up very easy. Well, guess what? Now there's more of us coming together and standing together and saying, we know what they do. We know how to help. And you're done. You're done doing this crap to people. And there's a perfect example. I'd love for her to come out of her car. These people are sick and they're disgusting and they can get loud behind a computer they can get loud behind their little cars and try to run you off the road and do what they want to do because they have a car to use. But the minute you stand before them, guess what? They cower down. You know why? Hey, um, we have some amazing people showing up, but they cower down and um, they can't stand in front of the truth. I'm telling you, they can't. I've done this so many times where the minute these scums that are that are on here and talking crap all they want behind here, right? The minute you actually see them at, in, at a protest, a rally, anything like that, they run. They run because they cannot sit there and I can sit there and spit it out 24-7 and stand on the truth and nothing but that. And they have nothing, nothing but cuss words and they'll tell you to, you know, go die and to watch your back and all this stuff. It's all threats and it's all lies, but they cannot, they cannot use their own words to stand on why it's okay to do what they're doing. So what does that say? That says they're nothing but liars. They're thieves. They're here to do nothing but destroy and kill and to tear apart families for what? You know what I mean? We are in Olympia, Washington, you guys. We're at Providence. I'm actually just waiting for um, one of my gals that just pulled up to get over here. And then, uh, well, we, we are going to go on foot and um, meet up with uh, dad and get some answers and we're gonna we have some company um we're gonna you know put him on camera and he's totally okay with it he is um we've i've talked to him personally since last night today 
That is so awesome, you guys. Oh my God, we got some Portlanders up in here. That is amazing. See that? Now this is what I'm talking about. It is, um, it's funny, cause I have a feeling we're gonna have the most massive turnout right here. Right here, more than ever. And hey, you know what? If that's what we started with Kylie's fight is a trend to come together, to stand together in front of these hospitals, to say, that's not okay, what you're doing is wrong. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> um, then hey, it's worth it. Then at least I know that my pain and Kylie's pain did not go in vain, you know? And that's what's gonna be the most important, <clears throat> is to know that what we have suffered and what we endured to expose and to bring a light to such darkness, that it wasn't just for nothing. That we were able to um, come together and, um, dang it you guys, let me go find her. I can't, uh, here she is. Yeah, bye. You guys, she don't scare me. I'm at three. Well, come to my six, girl. Come to my six. That See what I'm saying, though, right there? How pathetic you guys are. You little trolls. <laughs> to sit here and to threaten. Yeah, that's exactly it. Bunch of little fear mongers. <laughs> I don't care, you guys. She don't. Like, like I said, that's what they do. See, there you go. Perfect example. Block you? Sounds good. Yeah, I got Tina. I also got Tanya. Tina was blocked. Perfect. Um... Anyways, enough to them uh, negativity, but um, we're gonna go get down and closer to the doors. I just have one of my gals coming right now. And then, um, wow, it got muggy out here. Can, I will do a quick recap, you guys. I'm seeing a lot of recap requests. So, um, don't block me. <laughs> I'm not, I can tell, it tells me who's the top fans. It tells me who's, um, who's got our back, who's a sharer. And then we know who the trolls are. Trolls are paid to make a problem, you guys. That is exactly it, Deborah. That's what they do. You know what I mean? They get paid to do their disgustingness, but guess what? Um, I get uh, my payment in heaven and um, that's where it's gonna count the most. Hi. Oh, okay. Okay, and who are you with? I I am not with anyone. Okay. I am a family friend. Okay. With a little with a little more than that. Okay. <laughs> um oh let me I was just waiting for her to come this way and then we were actually gonna head over to um getting some answers over by the door if you wanna come with us. We're gonna go and just confront the hospital and get some answers. But um, Kelly and I are out here. We're the two main um, advocates out here fighting. Been talking to dad since last night. And um, we got mom coming out at 11. And so I know he's handling that. And then he's gonna be getting a hold of us. Is the baby still with the mom and dad? No. Them? No. Oh my God. Yeah, they separated them. So I uh, have a suggestion for them legally. Yeah. Go. Okay. Good. That's what that's really good. To, and it's Freedom Foundation. It's a long story. Yeah. Um, no, I trust me. I work with a lot of national freedom groups and stuff, and well, we're all one, for it. There is one local. Sweet. I just was there yesterday. Good. So I'd like to give that information yeah. to Cheryl. Absolutely. My heart. I know. I know. Trust me. We've been. I, I barely slept last night. This is what we do all week. This is happening nationally. That's what's so sick. It's happening everywhere. Did you hear what happened uh, in uh, Seattle? No. They took over four blocks. Antifa is in charge of the Capitol uh, Hill area. 
Oh. This is why we have to fight for our freedoms, but the bad part is most of us don't even know what our freedoms are. Yeah. That's shameful. That, that's exactly it. No, we teach on that um, so, at a lot of our lives. 40 years in that's awesome. At the high school level. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. So well, God bless you for that. We're going to go down there and find Kelly. And um, are you going to set up shop right here then? I mean, wherever. Let's go, let's go find Kelly real quick and at okay. least um, see if we're going to go to the front doors. Okay. And talk to the hospital. All yeah. I want to do is try to get a hold of the, the family. So yeah. So can let them know where to go and what phone number to call. Okay. I actually, I'm in touch with dad on my other phone too, so. But he um, doesn't know me. Okay. So he's not going to know me from Adam. That's Tanya okay. Tanya is one of my students. Okay. Cheryl was my husband's um, uh, secretary for years at the school. So they know us very well. Okay. Awesome. Well, easy. all the support that we can get, sure. the better. Where do you want us? Um, uh, Just right here between this corner and, and right here. Huh? I just want to tell them thank you. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go find... Let's will, go find... Uh, we're going to go down this way and then head over... Here, do you want... Somebody want to hold the sign? I'm going to... Oops. Oh, man. And by the way... Let's just head this way. I saw way. some nurses coming in. Yeah? And they were not supportive. I'm just letting you know. I'll meet you. Oh, I already know. The, okay, meet us down there. The nurses came on our feed, and I, I actually already warned them because they started uh, putting out her medical information out there. And I was like, excuse me, that is one area I do know. That's a HIPAA violation. Come on my feed and talk like that again. Um, because they're like, one of the nurses, she's so pathetic. My heart makes me cry. That yeah, because they lie. What they do is they lie, you know? And so they were lying. And I have no, so you want to know what I taught for 40 years? What's that? The word. Yeah. That's you know what? That's now, awesome. Now let me tell you, when it comes to truth, yep, I'm all about that. That's what I stand by. And oh my gosh, how dare they? Yep, that's what I stand by. And you know what? The minute you you expose it and you speak the truth, that's when they flee. Ready? You shall know the truth, and the truth will set you, you free. free. Amen. And that's what the word says. Amen. I agree. And that is true. But you have to be. You have to have the truth. To be able to speak it. Yeah, exactly. It burns in, inside of you, trust me. It's one thing that I can get very passionate about because I've been there and done that with my own daughter in our case. And when we went through what we went through for the last two and a half years, um, you can't just sit back and do nothing, no. you know? No, you can't. At first, a lot of people didn't even know what medical kidnapping was two years ago. And I started so, so, exposing so, so it. Can you explain to me what you, I heard that phrase on on uh, Tanya's feed? Yeah. Medical kidnapping. Yeah. Can you can you just so boil that okay. down in a Perfect shell? example. Even I don't want to hear yeah, it, yeah. it's going to make me sick. But Perfect example right ahead. here, right? She has every right to take her child home. It's her child, right? Yes. The child's not sick, and. Let's say if the child was, okay, like my daughter was, let's we say have child, a right. Say again. Let's say the child is a little bit sick, right? Okay. Let's say they come up with something that says the baby has this, right? Where my daughter was sick, but I have every right as a parent to get a second opinion. Well, the minute you ask for a second opinion, okay. you get threatened with the cops because most oh. hospitals have cops now. And I went to the door to leave with her and they said, you have no right. It's your baby. Your daughter stays here and you go, oh boy, but no. she's not going anywhere. That is medical kidnapping. Okay. That is doctors and I nurses see. playing God, I and see. that's not okay. No, I got you. Now I'm following you. I had no idea. Yeah, a lot of people you, don't. I had all four babies, and hell would have froze over before I left my children. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How's that? Trust me, I stood in there like a freaking okay. prisoner just to not I leave her. See, is there any... Where's Kelly? Kidnapping. Kidnapping. That's right, we're not going to tolerate it, are we? We've got Kylie's fight in the house. Oh. Oh. We've got Kylie. Kelly. I found her. I Here found her, guys. Wandering around. All right, you guys. Making signs, guys. 
Um, hang on, I really need a freaking drink. Excuse me for two seconds. All right, you guys. Came down here. Holy mackerel. I'm gonna turn the camera around and let some other people do some talking. See a lot of familiar faces, which is awesome. Let me just look at the comments real quick. <laughs> Love you too, Lori. We have thousands of people calling and sharing, so glad we can be there. You are awesome, thank you. Mel, thank you for blocking. Thank you, Nana, you guys, for having my back on here. You guys are such a blessing. Oh, man, I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Is this mom? You stayed on the phone all night with after she gave birth? Yes. I um, have done that with a couple cases now, and we actually got mom uh, from Minneapolis home by doing that. Um, and I'll continue to do that. You know, that's what we do, you guys. Um, and we need to. We need to stand together. And um, I have a couple different platforms I share things on besides Kylie's fight. We have Enough is Enough movement. So like our page on there and follow it. And we have Hope Warriors Foundation, which is actually becoming a nonprofit to help out these moms um, on every level, shape, and form. And um, we're done. We're done. We're not going to allow this crap to happen anymore. There's way too many moms and parents out there. Um, Constance, I wish you can be here too. I really do. But this is just, it's gone on for far too long. And um, enough is enough already. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the cams on everybody that's here so far. This is uh, our sixth corner that we're on right now. And um, Callie and I and... Oh my God, Tammy's here. Tammy and um, a lot of us have come together and uh, we're going to rock the crap out of this. I've been talking to dad and I got to actually get on my other phone. So I'm going to turn the camera around so I can deal with um, talking to dad for a little bit. Hi. Oh my God. I saw you and I was like, oh my God. Hey. <laughs> I have something for you. Oh, it's so good to see you familiar faces you guys um anyways we're here in washington yeah we're on live here's kylie's we are at um, you're so sweet thank you give those to her i will oh my gosh thank you yeah um we're at the hospital we're at saint peter's is it petersburg peter's saint saint peter's oh here we go providence saint peter's this. hospital here we are in Olympia, Washington, home, home birth is the safest now. I agree. I'm telling you, I've actually been saying that, you guys, for a while now. If I was um, a mom, that's exactly what I'd be doing because it is absolutely disgusting to see what, um, what they're doing and um, how many kids they're taking nationally right now. And they're kidnapping them left and right. Are you off? I think I'm going to get off too for a minute. Um, I uh, need to figure out what the update is with dad. Have you heard from dad and him getting mom out? He's here. He is? She's getting work on her data release right now. Yeah, he's right over there, but he, he's just really emotional. Yeah. But he's so, like, blown away by all these people. He is so blown Here's away. Here's address. Oh, Do you want address? That's awesome. 413 Lily Road, Northeast. Okay. There you go, you guys. This is where we're at. Yep, 413 Lily Road Northeast. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um baby Grayson, there's our new hashtag. What's the babies? Great COVID Grayson. kidnappings. Is Grayson? It G -R -A -Y or yeah, AY. That's yes. what dad had on his sign, so we're going with yep. that. So baby yeah, Grayson. Alright, good to know. Oh, here we go, you guys. <laughs> Pray for this family and the advocates. Amen. Thank you, Mel. 
A lot of prayers right now, you guys. Um, we definitely have a strong force here. This is just one, two, uh, three corners, the last three corners that we set up. Um, if you go all the way down to the other corner of the hospital, there's four different entrances, you guys. All the way down there, we have all four corners um, handled. We have people standing there and people are still showing up. So as many of they're going to be coming in all day. Um, I've seen a lot of you guys said we're packing up and you're heading this way. God bless you guys. Thank you for coming. And yes, Nana, hashtag baby Grayson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but no, this is unreal. This is a lot of parents coming together and saying enough is enough. No more kidnapping. No more medical kidnapping. You guys, this crap show has got to end. Period. Um, where are you all? What's going on? Uh, if somebody has... <laughs> did, you, did you connect this person with him? Everyone I spoke to ripped my... This is the person who is helping me. No. Know anything. I don't no. know how somebody call, I'm like, don't just be careful who yeah. we uh-uh yeah. nope I don't know uh, nope I have uh, two attorneys that are getting back to me with what I told you and that's all we need seriously oh and then there's where's this lady that one right there go okay. talk to her really quick who is she? yeah hey hon uh, this is Kelly Hi. her and I have been in touch with mom and dad whoops sorry yeah. I just made dad fall into a bucket of tears you're not Paula it's who I am Am I Paula? I'm Christine. Okay. I'm looking for Paula. Okay, so let's get this. I have not met a Paula. Um, thank you for all of you guys that can't be here, but have made phone calls, have um, uh, called media, and um, I guess I'm the only one that's still live right now, so I'll keep it going for a minute. Um... I was gonna shut off for a few, but let me just make sure my charger's still charging. Yep, all right, cool. We're good then. If you guys want me to stay on, I can stay on. Um, free baby Grayson. So dad just pulled up and um, we are at in Olympia, Washington. And Christy, Forgy, <laughs> you are so awesome. Um, you know, I'm the media that will always tell the truth. That's how we can put it out there. Wherever uh, Kelly and I show up, you can expect for the truth to come out no matter what. We will constantly stand by the truth and nothing but that. So help us God. <laughs> um, but this is the thing about media. Um, they don't tell the truth. They take the stories just like they took mine and they twisted it and they lied and then they were used by the disgusting entities to go against me. So um, I have a little bit of my own personal real true feelings about it because guess what you guys, how many of these stories do you see on the real media? right? The fake news. How many? Because guess what? I'm exposing a couple a week and that's just as many as I can even keep up with. All right. That's not all of them in all the inboxes. That's not all of them that because this is the thing. We don't just jump in for nothing, right? We pay attention. We look at details. We, we go deep and make sure that every case we take up on is, is a real case, right? We don't want to just jump in for, for anything and then it blow up in our face. So um, it's sad. And for those of you guys that are just coming on, this is, you know, a brand new baby. I believe only three days old. And we're not going to be leaving here until a baby gets released. They're releasing mom. Mom has not been able to see baby at all. They took uh, the baby right out from mom's hands and said, oh, you have COVID. You can't see baby. And then they tested her again. And guess what? Came up negative. And now they're testing her again. And it's supposed to come back in five, six days. Uh, they're not getting the baby back for five, six days until mom clears. Hell no. Hell no. Who are you to sit there and say that we don't get a uh, baby back unless um, uh, mom clears? Okay. What are they going to do with the baby? 
Because let me tell you, some of these cases, you don't want to know. You don't want to know the end result that a couple of the babies have ended up in nationally. And um, too bad they were all the way clear across the country that we couldn't step in and intervene like this. But this is why I keep saying we need foot on the ground nationally. Okay. I started um, a, a post on enough is enough movement. And I will also put it on Kylie's fight once I log off here. But it talks about how we need to get um, protesting for all these uh, children. We need to protest for all the children that have been taken. We need to protest for the children that are coming up from underneath the tunnels. We need to protest for the children that have been taken by that sick three-letter entity that thinks... That's right. That's right. The support is amazing, you guys. People are waking up now more than ever. We got signs everywhere. Inslee is not a bad. <laughs> you made that? That is so cute. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. I, the love and the support, though, you guys, um, we're blessed. We're blessed and we're going to continue to put things out there. We're going to continue to stand up for what's right because this is wrong. And those of you guys that are coming and showing up and helping and you guys have brought coffee and waters. God bless you, man. Just seriously. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Look at this. That's God's work right there. All right. That's love. That is unconditional love, girlfriend. God bless you. You know what? I could really actually use the water. We're taking our babies. What is his end? That's right. There is no end. That's right. Amen. Oh, man. You guys, that brings me to freaking tears. That is what we should have had happening a long freaking time ago. But, um... Yeah, the third test is a five-day process, and it is not okay to keep baby away. And they put baby in NICU. Get this, right? Baby was completely fine. So they were just keeping the baby away from mom. And so I was talking to dad late last night, and he goes, but this is what's bullcrap. I go, I get up to go to the bathroom, and then they put the baby quickly into a box. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. So up until then, what was happening? He said up until then, he was taking care of the baby. He was, um, baby was sleeping with him. He was able to be there more. But the minute he got up to go to the bathroom, they put him in an incubator and said that he was um, at risk and that dad needed to go home. And he goes, screw that, not happening. Like, I'll, I'm gonna stand here, I'm gonna be here, I wanna at least be here, fine, if I can't touch him, and if you guys really think he needs to be in there, then I wanna still be here. And they threatened dad, so he had to leave. Um, and then that's when the post started getting viral. That's when all of us got involved up here. Kelly and I jumped on it, and we spread it out like wildfire, and um, we're all out here this morning. We literally uh, planned this all within an hour last night. It was crazy. But you know what? That's God. That's unity. That's love. That's all of us coming together and saying enough is enough. Because if we don't, you guys, I'm telling you, it will not stop. They are using this as a front. They're using this to cover up what's really happening, to cover up what they've really been doing, which is doing nothing but taking children from innocent families and from families that don't deserve it, okay? It's not okay, and it's wrong. And we need to be able to unite and at least come together on it somewhere. We have to, you guys. We gotta be able to pull together and say, hey, this is not gonna happen anymore. And I don't care if you're an hour away, two hours away, Guess what? We're two hours away. We came up here. I don't care if it's in the same, you know, same state, even in Oregon, Washington, it don't matter. We should be able to pull together. There's so many just sitting at home because of all this crap. And we need to say, no, you know what? Enough is enough. Not happening anymore. 
Not happening. Because I promise you in a couple months when the entire country gets a rude awakening with what comes out of how many children have been taking. Okay, over 800,000. 800,000 last year have gone missing. Can you guys wrap your brain around that number for just a second? Just a second. Kathy, we are at Providence over in Olympia at St. Peter Hospital. I should just keep it on here and talk this way. Um, if we would understand that 800,000, that's, that's not just a number, you guys. That is a breathing soul. That is a child. That is an innocent life. Where 800,000 parents have no answers. We're 800,000 from one year. One year. How in the world can that many kids go missing and all of a sudden media stops, fake news stops reporting on it? How? That's what I want to know. No, because ACLU is a joke. They don't help medical kidnapping. Do you understand that? And they're actually supported and backed by uh, George Soros. Yeah, trust me, we tried. We tried crying out for help to them. Not one time out of about 100 attempts to get help for Kylie when we, when we had every right trampled on. And she was legally allowed to get an abortion if she wanted to, but she was not allowed to have her own right to say, no, don't touch my body, don't cut me open. I feel good, I feel okay, I feel healthier than ever. But guess what, they forced her to. ACLU is a joke. And it's nothing but a, um, you know, it, it's a group that the elites use. And George Soros actually has 250 foundations. Wrap your brain around that. 250 foundations that are supposed to help us. And they don't. That's why there looks like there's so many foundations here to help. And there isn't. Because they're infiltrated. They're taken up. And that money that you guys fund and give these groups... It just goes right back to them. So please do yourself a favor. Start looking into the groups you're donating money to. Okay? How many of those um, uh, children, hospitals, do you give money to? I just want to know. How many of you guys on here donate to these hospitals that have been proven to take our children and parents have been muzzled, gag ordered. They tried to gag order me three times. And I told them to take that gag order. And I stood on my rights and I fought. Every single time they took me to court to put my in contempt of court, what did I do? I fought for my right. I said, hell no, I will continue to speak out. I will continue to talk because if I stop, who else will? All the other parents in Oregon were gag ordered so what did I do I continued to take that risk and let me tell you the judge had nothing to stand on you know why because when you know your stuff and you know you're at least your amendment rights and you can stand on them there's nothing they can do but when you don't and they know that you don't all they can say you're in contempt you're going to jail and I said absolutely not your first contempt makes absolutely no sense because it goes against my rights and you have no grounds to force me to shut up because I never gave them a reason to besides speaking the truth and they were never able to use anything against me because I was careful and you have to be careful you got to be careful with what you say and what you do but you don't stop talking you don't stop exposing the truth you continue to bring out the evil because it lies all around us you guys man um we are waiting for dad to come back out, but he is in the hospital. He's getting mom out right now. And um, we actually have uh, grandma up here with us. This has been a really emotional and rough time, you guys, for, for these families um, at a national level. I know I've seen a couple already, and um, I've told you guys... Um, 
They are taking babies. Yep, they sure are. <coughs> I told you guys, whatever cases are going on nationally right now, private message us. And um, we will continue to... Um, you guys are so awesome. Thank you. Nice fight. We will continue to um, expose it. We will continue to bring it out. So wherever you're at, and um, sorry, I'm looking at one of the things. Wherever you're at, just make sure to um, private message us and private message us in regards to your case, whatever state you're in, and we'll get you connected. What's up, hon? Did somebody say that that was the building where they're making the final decision? No. Okay. He's behind us. Just yeah. yeah. Just now. Okay. That's Why? Amazing. She was just wondering. Oh, she no. She wanted to make a bunch of noise to get him to, oh. to hear us. And to... That's smart. But no, so far, um, I know Dad's in there. Yeah, I saw him earlier. All right, back there, tucked away. And we're on the main road, you guys. Um, we have everybody on all three corners up here. Oh, get out of the road. <laughs> um, we don't need masks masks are for fools sorry delete me remove me do whatever you want but this is nothing but a crock a crock and we ain't gonna fall for your crock anymore keep it at home and keep your masks at home um, we will never ever fall for any more lies and tactics Go take your little masks to the rioters in downtown. Maybe they'll fall for your crap, okay? Enough is enough. No more covering anything up. No more using any scare tactics. No more fear mongering for anybody. Take it and uh, go tell it to someone who cares because we don't. What we care about is the truth and it being exposed. And uh, you sick animals that are in here that are with the same agenda that are stealing children at a national level um, your time's coming it is coming I can promise you that um, <laughs> exactly Lori <laughs> I don't know what else to say I am so sick and tired I, I'm telling you guys the other day I was on a live and I said I don't know if I'm ready but you know what it was I was getting so cleared up and so healed that there's so much truth boiling inside me that there is going to be absolutely no more, um, let me just put it the nicest way I can, um, no more sugarcoating it for anybody, okay? You don't like what we say? Move on. Move on. Because we want nothing but strong warriors that are willing to expose the truth with us, to stand beside us, to fight with us. And if you're anything but that, move along. This page is not for you. I can promise you that. I have zero tolerance for your nonsense, for your BS. We will continue to do what we're doing. We will continue to stand for the truth no matter what. Okay? And I can promise you, we're working just as hard as the evil is. And we will get a stronghold back on this. We will win. Okay? This is a war, you guys. I don't care what anybody says. This is the people against the elites and guess what they just paid us to stay home to wake up who's with me who has woke more than ever in the last three months tell me that who has gotten tired of their lies and their tactics their mask is to muzzle you it's to keep you and your mouth shut that is a form of a gag order do you understand that that's how i look at that you can do whatever you want with that i don't care I don't anymore and nothing no words can break me your little stones don't phase me as a matter of fact I'll take your stones and continue to build my foundation and make it stronger that's what I'm gonna do with your words you don't phase me anymore okay it takes a strong village of mamas and papas and grandmas and grandpas to come together to say we don't care what you got to say we love our children we want a future for our children and yes if that means I risk my life every day then that's what I'm gonna do if that means that I stand strong and united in a storefront with nothing but strong warriors then that's what we're gonna do that's it plain and simple no matter what 
<laughs> you want to take the blue pill? That's right, Cassandra. Then take it. You want to wake up? That's what that red pill and blue pill is. If you took the red pill, you're woke. You're woke. You took in um, the payment from, you know, well, actually, a lot of Oregon and Washingtonians did not get their payment for staying home because our uh, governors yanked our uh, unemployment here and kept the money. You bunch of sickos. And, um, but you know what? We all stayed home. We all brought truth out. And we, you know, we can do what we want with it. And there's many people standing out here. And um, stop stealing children. You know, there's fathers and mothers on every corner all the way down at the other end. And we're forming a complete line um, from one end to the other. And there's four corners on each end, which is the two main entrances to this hospital. Oh, and my heart um, really hurts, man. Hurts for this mom, hurts for this dad. Um, I talked to him late last night, talked to him this morning. He is so grateful, so, so grateful. I know what it feels like. And you know what he said? when um i was talking to him because he's like well tell me how you got involved in all this tell me you know a little bit of your background and after i did he was so choked up and he goes all i got to say is after i get my wife and my child home i am forever woke i am forever your partner i am forever going to stand my feet on the ground with you and you know what you guys i don't care if we have to do this once a day everywhere nationally to wake every other parent up because guess what he said i had no clue i had no clue and he goes you're right until it happens to you you sit there and you think no no there's got to be more no that can't be right well maybe the kid's not good maybe the kid's sick he's so humble He's so even willing to work with the fact if, the, if there's something wrong with the baby, but he wants a second opinion. And you know what, you guys? That is our God-given right. We have every right to have a second opinion. We have every right to be able to um, stand uh, together and to say, you know what? Parent wants a second opinion, then we have every right to freaking choose that. If we want our children moved or we want our children to go home and guess what? They're not hooked up to anything. The baby's not hooked up to anything. They want him to be. Okay. But no, that's why we came here this morning because we found out that got, dad got kicked out and we found out that um, um, after he got kicked out, they put the baby in a, a incubator. Okay. Why? Why do that? when the baby is completely fine and was safe in dad's hands. Why? Because they have to create their lies, their BS, their story as to why they took the child, okay? So, nobody will get tired, Angie, but you can definitely shut up and you just got blocked. Okay, that's the thing you're gonna get to see. Nobody's gonna get tired here. As a matter of fact, you guys don't know uh, how Kylie's fight really works, huh? We stood out in front of DHS for weeks. And this little rock star, crazy nut over here. <laughs> hey, we just had an Angie come on here and say, we're gonna, they're gonna get tired and go home soon. <laughs> Right? I told them they don't know who they're screwing with. <laughs> the only thing he believes like mom did do nothing. Like mom right? didn't get to <laughs> no. no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm sure it says men who have never breastfed, <laughs> who have never woken up all night with babies. Except I happen to be married with to one. I love how that one comment stirred up such a fire between all these moms. That's right. That's right. Moms um, don't get tired. Okay. That's, that's the difference. And neither do a lot of amazing dads. We will stand out here as long as it takes. We will stand our ground. As a matter of fact, we have a tent and some pillows. So um, wrong comment for the wrong group over here. I can promise you that I will set up shop. We will not go away until the baby goes home. Y'all hear that? So all you trolls on there, make sure you relay that message. 
We will not go away until the baby goes home. That's freedom. Blocked too. Jamie Alexander needs blocked. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you, you guys are awesome. Yep, just look it up, OMG, you're lying. Okay, bye-bye, Jamie. Um, Jamie must like little children. That's pretty sad. Um, and you know what, you guys, this is, I, I will tell you something. I don't know why, you know, just how our brains work because a lot of the arrests we see majority of men, right? Um, in regards to pedophilia, every now and then you'll see women, but guess what? In this ring, there are men and women almost on a level of 50 to 60, okay? And I, I never thought, you know, 40 to 60, I never thought that I would see that. I never thought that um, this is so, you know, uh, a divided thing almost where a lot of men and, and women are involved. Um, we're in the role we were for the last 10 years. And um, I tried to block her, but I couldn't. I blocked her. Thank you, thank you. Moms are original beast modes. <laughs> right, Tracy? I agree. Another one above. Um, block Jamie. I did, I did, you guys. Um, here block I think there's too many of us trying to block it at the same time there she goes all right I did it bye bye um sorry guys I'm trying to help out um some of the admins Jamie and Angie have been <laughs> love you Mel you little rock star um but we'll continue to sit here, you guys. We're gonna continue to uh, do what we do. And look at look at these little stingers, okay? Now this, this is unity. Oh my God, I love this. You guys look at this, right? <laughs> Ensley is a pig. <laughs> oh. No, Pamela, we don't call the local news. Local news is fake news, and um, we just spread it. That's why um, sick SOBs fight for the moms and babies. That's right, Patricia. We will continue to. We will continue to. Um, we're not going anywhere, you guys. We're not. Um, I can promise you once we get on foot, um, I'm not kidding. We really do have a tent and we will get more tents. We will do what we need to do, um, to not leave here. And, um, I know the kids are stinking adorable. They're making their own signs and, um, they're going to help hold signs up because that is what you do. This is where we all can come together. This is where unity can be truly formed 110%, okay? We need to come together and to say enough is enough. And um, when our own, you know, children can see that this is wrong. And unfortunately, that's what's so sad. We live in uh, such a sick, disgusting um, rolled. Hang on, you guys. I got one more. I got a block. Bye-bye. Um, we live in such a sick world that we have to teach our children. You know, we have to teach our children tonight for more truth revealed about... Yep, I agree. I agree, Lori. But we got to teach our children... Um, is anyone with dad in the hospital? No, because nobody is allowed to uh, walk in there. There's a th uh, three of us that try to go in, and um, he is the only one that uh, was allowed to go in, which is fine as long as we can just pull mom out right now. That's all that matters. But we're teaching our kids that this is wrong, and we need to teach our kids that we need to be able to stand and stand strong. And when they get taken, guess what? 
I was teaching Kai in the hospital just in case, you know, because the minute they had uh, threatened with what um, they were going to threaten with, that 3-H, you know, late to the party. Hang on, you guys. I'm trying to, trying to also look at the comments. What is live about? Thank you, Mary. Um, if you guys can just copy and paste something like that, every time someone comes on and says, hey, what's the live about? That is actually huge. Um, that helps a lot. That way um, I can just keep going and I'm trying to look out for comments like that. But if you guys can help with that, that helps out a lot. I'm gonna actually copy the same message you put. So then, here, hold on. I wanna, he's been watching us for a while. So I wanna see what he has to say. I don't think he knows my camera's on him right now. So I'm gonna just keep it on until we find out what's going down. I have a feeling this is gonna go negative. Hang on, you guys. Hang on. Mom got tested again and it came negative though. There's a positive and a negative test. Yeah, how can you get tested and one goes positive, one goes negative? Like, come on, you guys. Are they breastfed feedings? Right. Oh, that's just pathetic. Right? That's just pathetic. Thank you. Okay, here. No. Baby's healthy. The mom had been, the mom had been quarantining herself for three months. Gotcha. Okay. I'm sorry, I just missed the They're all afraid of losing their jobs. I agree. Everybody's afraid. I agree. Throughout the entire country, everybody's afraid. Yep. 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 I'm taking a break, you guys, on my voice. I've been at it for three hours, and it's, um... You guys, um, all the phone calls that any of you guys can do between the hospital, and yes, those of you that can do the phone calls to the White House, tag um, all the um, DC, you know, it has to be out of um, the states. We cannot depend on state representatives. That's all I know. Hey, lady, how you doing? Awesome. So, what I needed to do legislatively, I have the ammo. 
and I'm going to go ahead and go. Okay. But I just want you to know, you guys are all in my prayers. Thank you. I got your, is that your card you gave me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So when it comes to building swimmers, yeah. how to build swimmers, how yeah. to keep children safe in the water, okay. that's what we do. Awesome. So well, I'll be in touch with you. I'm Christine, Christine? from Kylie's Fight. Yeah. You too. Just keep fighting. Absolutely. other legislative one and make sure she gets home safe and I'm out. Okay. Sounds good, love. There's another case? Uh, she's the one that's at the top, yeah. at the government end, coming through. Yes. It's, oh hell yeah! It is in it is in the works, but I understand she did. I, I'm, I'm trying to affirm this. They did another test and came out negative. You're kidding. That, that baby better be out. Really? I well, let. I don't know for sure. Okay. Just pray. Okay, Just I will. Pray. Um, I'll be on uh, Kylie's fight or whatnot all day today. So if you hop on there, what name would you come under? Jay Graham. Jay Graham. Okay, let me know if you find confirmation on that. Okay. Bless. Thank you. Blessings. So, um, I guess we are waiting for the third um, testing. It's getting rushed um, from up above somehow. I, that's what she was just saying. And we should know by the end of today um, if that one also comes back uh, negative. Because right now we have one positive and one negative. Isn't that funny, Tammy? Isn't that funny? Freaking croc. For the mom. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because baby is fine. I guarantee it. Baby's fine. Baby's healthy. Baby can go home with dad. But, you know, you know how that works. So they're not keeping baby anymore. Aww. No, he needs some love, you guys. Um, so I guess here's another, um, he didn't know what was happening or going on. He was asking some questions, you guys, and, um, then ended up telling his own side of his own medical situation right now. He's not allowed in as well. Um, it's sick, you guys. People are hurting, okay? Everywhere at a national freaking level. And, um, this is wrong. Okay, so the results to come back. Yeah, the um, Cassandra, that lady, is going to confirm it with me. She's up in legislative pretty high. Um, I have her card, at least here in Washington. Um, man, I, just, I don't know anymore. Struggling a little bit, you guys. We need some prayers out here. I really need some prayers. Um, it's heavy. It's heavy everywhere. Um, I'm just trying to stay on because nobody else is on and um yeah i don't know i don't know what else to say right now besides lots of prayers we need prayers we need prayers um but uh the lady um she is trying to put a rush on that test uh cassandra somehow legislative have been contacted there's two here in washington that do have our back um, they have been the ones that have been contacted. We're not going to give out the names until we get the green flag on them being successful with pushing everything through. Um, they have a 45-minute test. Ask if that's what they're using. Well, that's the thing. Um, those tests were the ones, the first two that were used. And so then they're like, well, now we need a third to confirm because one was negative and the other one was positive. So we're like, oh, okay. What one's correct, right? How, how can the same person be positive and then negative within however many days apart? Um, that's sick and that's wrong and that's not okay. We need prayers for the release of Baby Grayson. That's his name, you guys. Baby Grayson, we need to um, release him. You cannot keep him. He is not yours. You have no right and no grounds. <coughs> it is disgusting.
Yeah. Hey, um, have you been in touch with dad at all since he went in? I just seen a comment. No, I'll call him. Do you see a comment? Yeah, can you check on him? Make sure that Pamela Diaz has been blocked. Thank you, Mel. You are the best. Let's check on him really quick. Hey, it's Palmer. We're at the hospital. Should we go? If I do a live, can you join me on my phone? Who is it? she inside? No. I think you can invite me to the broadcast. If you work in the hospital, you should be using your voices. Three babies around against the 14th amendment. You should be using your voices. Nurses. That's true. That's true. We all got rained out. I know. We have to make new signs every time because uh, all the other signs got wet. No stealing babies. Um, enough. Stop the insanity. Kidnapping is wrong. Baby Grayson needs his parents. I'm reading all the signs, you guys. Um, so for those of you guys just hopping on, we're right here, Providence, St. Peter Hospital, Olympia, Washington. Three-day-old baby needs to go home. He is completely healthy, and, um, dad is completely healthy, and mom, I crowd crowdfund for this, um, Um, no, what we, what we have is, is on Kylie's fight and whatever is, uh, funded can be put towards, um, what we're doing out here, whether it be snacks, food, water, for those standing out, that is always appreciated and a true blessing. Really appreciate you putting that out there, girl. That is, um, that means a lot. Thank you for asking. Um, but yeah, anything that... heck is that? Jeez. Ay, ay, ay. That is so loud. Stop. Enough is enough with this insanity. Oh, I recognize her. Um... So we're trying to get a hold of dad right now as uh, we speak and I'll keep you guys updated on that. Let's see. Um, what is the story about? Trisha, remind me of Debbie. Reminds me of Debbie. Wait, what? Um, thank you, you guys, for, for putting up the, um, details. Really appreciate it. Feel, uh, really blessed. We got more people on foot heading our way from the parking lots. Thank you, guys. Huh? We up? We need people for tomorrow, too. Make your signs and get down here. Even if nobody's down here, when you come, just stand on just the corner. Just stand on the corner. On the sign that says, free baby Grayson. Yep. We need to um, we need to fill these blocks up until um, they release them, and I'm telling you guys, it works. It works. We've done it for Kylie. Names of all the doctors involved in this. So you guys yep. can look up the names of the labor and delivery doctors here at St. Peter's Hospital. Yep. And post them on Christie's page. And if we don't get our redress here, we'll have to go farther. That's right. This is kidnapping and it's wrong! Is he wearing scrubs? 
Where? Free baby Grayson. You are a coward. Oh. You allow okay. in your hospital. They're videotaping us. They're videotaping Go. us. You're so sneaky, What's dude. Your name? I like it when they, everybody's looking, huh? The kids won't mind. Yeah, now they want to walk away. They don't like it. Yeah, keep walking. You're part of the problem. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, Don, I agree. Stay away from the test. They're a bunch of crap. This is what they do. There you go, you guys. You want to see what a test does to a family? It destroys you. Stay away from them. They're nothing but a crock. What? Oh, they were just taking video. They were taking, yeah. <laughs> Call security, public property. Too bad we know our rights. That's what happens. Oh, that's the only thing right there. So what? But the rest is, you know what I mean? So we can get the kids off, yeah. They obviously like arresting kids, so. Stealing them. Yep, that is true. They did put out a warrant on my 13-year-old daughter. Dead serious. Yeah, that's how they took her from me. They, uh, yep, Kate Brown sent the feds after us. And they came in and said, there's a warrant out for your daughter. And they took her from Nevada and uh, shipped her back to Oregon and left me in Nevada. Oh, yeah. Yep. Kylie's fight. Tell you all about it. Wow. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Yeah, me too. But you know what? It woke me up more than ever, and it's kept me fighting. So we've bought, you know, a lot of kids home, and we're going to keep doing it. We're not going to stop. Waking so up a lot of people. Do you know, like, what if we block the road? What do you mean? Like, what if we block this? We can. Protesters I mean, do is, it. This is what I'm saying. Like, yeah. We can stand here with signs all day. Right. If we block every entrance into the hospital and, and they can't get in, they're going to make action real quick. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. I mean, they will act quick and in whatever way they decide to act, right? I mean, yeah. It's hey, Kelly, I mean, it's gonna make what do you think noise. about this? Hey, what do you think about standing in front of one entrance? Uh-oh, are we okay? Yeah, mom's back there. So they were saying about standing at an entrance. I said, I don't know. What do you think about that? Yeah, we haven't been trespassed. <laughs> oh, man. I they, want a sign first off this sign here. St. Peter's kidnaps newborns. St. Peter's kidnaps newborns? Well, let's do it while we can. Okay, let me stop separating. All right, you guys. Um, don't block the entrance to the hospital. Take the high ground and don't make the family look bad. No, we're not ta talking about the whole entrances. Um, we're just talking about right here where we're standing. But um, we'll just uh, do pictures and stuff in front of the signs and keep doing what we're doing on the sidewalks. All about uh, doing it peacefully. Anyway. So.
So has anyone um, called the sheriff to find out what what we can do here? No, we need somebody to call the sheriff. Okay. So if any of you guys can do that, um, if any of you guys can do it for Olympia here in Washington, hey, do any of you guys want to call the sheriff and see what they'll say? See what the rights are? The sheriff, though? Why not? And just see what they'll say. So just ask them. Yeah, say, hey, this is, you know, a medical kidnapping case. What can we do? What are, you know, are you guys going to intervene? There's no legal ground right now. Dad um, is asking for hospital to um, seize and desist. So legally, they have to seize and desist. So what are they willing to do as the sheriff department? And if not, then we will continue to do what we need to do just flat out you know what i mean which they have an oath and they hold an oath to protect so it's going to be up to them the sheriff department is a little bit better more than like the police department yep yeah well that's why we need to start making some moves you guys i know yep cps custody i know i know i agree that is a move that they will make. Yep, that is a move they'll make. So we got to, let's make some phone calls. Why not? Let's do it. If any of you guys on the live can make those calls too, let's do it. Um, but put a speaker. Go ahead and, you want to call or I can call on my other phone. Let's, huh? Yeah, put Yeah, put it on speaker. All right, let's do it. Whoever's in charge of the hospital, it's a nonprofit, so whoever the... What is it, a chairman or whatever? I want his name and number. We need to do some calls. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Has anyone so we'll call sheriff, you guys, and we'll put them on speaker. If anybody that's on, uh, we are, oh, crap, what county? What county is this? Anybody know? Thurston, Thurston County. Um, if anybody can find out who is the chairman of this hospital, Thurston, Thurston County. We are going to call, um, we're calling the sheriff, we're putting them on speaker. If you guys can call and find out or, or research and get the phone number and contact okay, for the then. chairman of who um, is in charge of this hospital. You guys get us that. We might need to go protest at their house if we can't get this solved here at the hospital. We might need to go to the public streets, respecting the, first, the private property rights, Fourth Amendment, but also upholding our own or exercising our own First Amendment rights and we might need to go redress this grievance right to their door if they don't deal with their hospital. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, you calling? Yeah, in just a sec. I okay. just need to make sure my kids are situated. Yep. <laughs> nope. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. This is awesome, you guys. So many more feet on the ground. She's getting some things situated really quick with the kiddos, and then we're going on a speaker with the sheriff. Oh, yeah. We want names and pictures of anybody who works here. If they don't do what's right, then they're going to get famous. We'll make them famous. Like we made the DA famous that was involved with... Everybody knows Marty right? Do not make us go Kylie's fight on you. <laughs> That's right. Reunite the family. That's all we're asking, you guys. That's all we're asking. Um, so we got Mama over here. She's going to be calling. Um, she just had to go get situated real quick with her little one. Until then... Um, uh, a couple of you guys said you're going to find out who... Oh, you guys are awesome. So we have a directory, girl. Um, thank you, Tommy. That is awesome. Washington Providence Locations Directory, St. Peter's Hospital. Leadership team. Oh, you rock. Let me copy and paste that real quick. Um, let's go to reply. If someone... Here we go, here we go. Okay. Providence 
<laughs> it's own prov it's a group. Providence is a group. Um okay. Let me know when you're ready to call. Alright, are you gonna do the talking? Yeah, I'll do the talking. Okay. Why not? I don't give a crap. <laughs> Bring it. Say they're doing policy and you're gonna say, no, your job is to defend the people of this country. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah. Here. Let's go. Okay. Alright, here we go. We're calling the sheriff. <laughs> What'd it say? I didn't hear. I didn't either. Oh, Dang it. I mean, hey, hey, hey. Write this down. Michael Matlock, MD, Chairman. Michael Matlock, MD, Chairman. Thank you, V-Love. Matlock. Okay, can you guys look up his number for us, please? Chairman. We need his phone number. Check his Facebook. See if he's online. See what you can find. We need to contact him immediately. Becky Brewer is community minister. Okay, get, get the phone numbers, guys, and get those You guys get more. phone numbers. Um, thank you, V-Love. You are awesome for doing that. Um, and PM me that stuff, too, V. You rock. Okay. Okay. Write down the... Um, uh, you know what? I think it said non-emergency. So let's just write down the non-emergency one. Okay. And I'll... A... a pen? Okay. Something. <laughs> Thank you. Is that your little guy? Oh. Nope. Not that one. Yeah. My littlest one is right there. <laughs> ah, there it is. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <he's smaller. laughs> I think your dad's across the street, Charlie. No, 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 no. Hold on. Grab her. Grab her. Grab that kid. Stay here, honey. Come here. Where's your dad? Okay, just stay here. Okay, then let me let me get his attention, okay? Hold on. Don't go anywhere. Um can you grab her and cross her? Please. Yeah, cross the street. Bring go with her. Go ahead, love. Thank you, thank you. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Um Sorry, my motherly instincts are like on high alert. Wait, what's going on? What happened? Um, but he wants to maybe get get a hold of. Oh, um, thank you. Okay. Hey, is that the binky that fell from the baby? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, it's in the road. Go, right here, love. Right here, grab it. It's all right. Just put it over there on the sign or on the block. Just stay out of the road. <sighs> okay. Um, wow, we got packed pretty quick, you guys. We are um, here all the way down the road from here. And um, what is she doing? Are you calling them? This is just a file of report. No, we don't want to file a report. We want to. Um, so I'm gonna go down. Uh, Chrissy, will you come with me? And yeah. Take a picture in front. Yes. You're gonna have to do it fast. That's fine. Trespassing. Okay. Um, well, why are they trespassing when? <laughs> That's all good. We're okay. We're at that. Okay, you guys. We're gonna go. Wait, I'm live. Do I want to stay live? Outside. I thought you can. Whatever. You should be able to. Yeah. If you want, do you want me to take a picture of both you guys? Yes. Yeah. All right, can you just hold the live then? What? Bless our nurses. It's fine, it's fine, just do it. COVID. <laughs> Don't they get 
federal funding and taxpayer dollars. Taxpayer dollars. This oh, is pub goodness. public public. Providence. Yeah, absolutely. Do you oh, want to go in there? Yeah, I'll take one with her. Um, hold on. How do I make your camera back on? Camera. Okay, got it. One, two, and then do you want to do okay. one over here really quick with her and I? Yep. Here, I'll jump in with you real quick. Oh, you have it on a send thing. Ooh, you had it on a send thing. Go for it. I'll fucking do <laughs> sorry. Wait for sorry. If they're gonna come. They're, they're out, out there, there right now. Yeah. And we could, I mean, and my reason for that, I should explain, is so we could talk to them and let them know that a child has been taken and that we're here to um, get that child returned to. Um, there was a baby that was born. The mom and the dad both did their COVID test with the midwife and they were negative. And then the hospital made the mom test again with no signs or symptoms and she came up positive and they took the baby. So they're doing they, this nationally. So they said maybe in two weeks she can have it back if she mm -hmm. tests negative in two weeks. And she's like, she's a first time mom. She would have never taken the test if she knew they could use it to try to separate. And they were not using the midwife's test. They won't admit that on the record. They're just saying they just want the hospital's test. Well, there's a lot of false positives that are happening. And so then the dad was removed yesterday by police And she did test negative at one time. She tested her and her husband tested negative with the with the midwife. Mm -hmm. the midwife did their own little blood test. It was negative. So then when the hospital wanted to test, she's like, I, yeah, whatever, I don't care. And they then they tested and then right after the baby was born. And she had, I want to say like an hour, hour with the baby before they took him. And they haven't seen him in a day and a half. And they're telling him to go home. She wants to breastfeed and they won't allow her bla breast, breast milk up there. Yeah, they, they won't let her uh, And scary that yeah. they can do that. Yeah, the staff here should be ashamed of themselves. Every one of them for letting this happen. They should all be doing what we're doing and making sure that this can't happen. But all that it takes for them to do this is people to be quiet when they're able to. So hold, hold your babies close around here. Yeah. God bless you. God bless. Thank you. Uh, let's stand. I'm going to walk away with this. Uh, we, had a, um, we had one walking us to step by us. You have it. <laughs> it's one of them I, I'm gonna start yelling, so here I'm gonna okay. champ. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
want to yell in your people's. No justice, no peace, to Grayson, really? Sorry. Uh, I love the boldness in moms, man. I tell you what. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I know. And you know what's crazy is um, uh, Kylie was saying when we were down there. Yeah, with your babies. <laughs> yeah. When we were down there, she can hear us clear as day through the windows. And we weren't even that loud. Awesome. Yep. I was like, that's good to know. We should probably get a sign posted up here. Bless our nurses as they kidnap children or something. <laughs> yeah. You know, I do think... No, she's with us. <laughs> All right. Well, pretend to not be one of us. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, board of directors, you are awesome, Leslie. Thank you. Oh, man. Okay. So here we have it. Getting back over here. Um, let me make sure. Oh no, my battery. Um, okay, let me see if we can get on this phone call real quick. Um, I just want to copy and paste real quick off what Leslie wrote. Reply. Ah, it won't let me, but you know what? I think it might let me screenshot. Let me see. Ha. Ah, it did let me screenshot, but I don't know if that caused anything in the live. Okay, just inbox board. Executives, so explain to me that they took that baby. Yeah, Nikki, we're uh, over here at uh, Providence St. Peter Hospital, Olympia, Washington. And um, it's sick, it's wrong, and uh, baby is absolutely healthy, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the baby, and baby should go home. Baby Grayson needs to be released. We need to let him go, and we're not gonna stop, and we're not gonna leave until you guys let him go give him back to the parents all we're gonna do is get louder all we're gonna do is get crowder <laughs> are you ready yeah. what do we got i can't every time i call someone comes up and starts talking and then i miss all the options that's okay you should do you want to walk should we go right here at the bus stop if someone can keep an eye on my kids okay um albina can you help us really quick we're gonna try to go live I mean, I'm already live. We're going to try to do a phone call okay. while I'm still live and just call the sheriff department and um, see if they're going to do anything on any legal grounds. But she needs help. Um, <sighs> hold on. She actually, she, you know what? She might get. Who are we looking for? She needs help with. She needs help to get. Um, Sign for I'll send it to my son. He's gonna start blowing up. Hold up his sign. Uh, okay, I'm gonna send him a couple pictures to actually. Um, wow, we actually are almost formed all the way down, you guys. This is amazing. All the way down. Yep, yep, yep. Say cheese, people. Here we have um, some someone coming our way. I don't know or believe that they're with us, but we'll see what comes out of this real quick. Oh, actually, here, here we go. What's happening? Are you serious? Hold on, I gotta see this.
And that's after she already tested negative. Right, after she already tested negative. She tested negative. Now, the first time she was tested negative. Yes. He's so red. <laughs> Let's go down. Go walk, walk, walk. You got everything? Yeah, I got the kid. All right, watch everything. Hey, do you know this guy behind me that's following us? Do you know him? Huh? Right behind me, the old guy? I haven't seen him either. Nice handgun, love it. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna try to make this phone call really quick. Huh? Well, especially without uh, anybody making the freaking phone calls to making it happen. Okay, it's stay sick. Stay that way. Stay that way. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> My children are following me. Every I'm not. I've been pushing my baby. All right, you guys, we're going to make a quick phone call and see what legal grounds um, the sheriff are going to be and stand by when it comes down to um, what they're willing to do. All right, the Sheriff Department of Olympia. If you know the four-digit extension of the person you are trying to reach, please dial it now, followed by the pound sign. For further menu choices, please remain on the line. All right, so why don't we... Um... For Thurston County Corrections, press 1. For our patrol division, press 2. For information on concealed pistol license applications, press 3. Did you write down the non-emergency? This is 911? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I'd be dead by now. <laughs> Did we defund Washington? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> oh my god. No. Okay, All right, Lori called them and spoke to the assistant. Oh my gosh. Seven. Come on. For our evidence division, press eight. Oh For our detective division, press nine. For all other inquiries, press zero. Zero? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, oh it just went. All right. Mm. Hi, is this a non emergency line? No, but I get you over there in just a moment. I have a question. Well, guess not. <laughs> <laughs> thing I wasn't on fire. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. The lady said the director and communications would call me back. Thank you, Lori. Patrol is who is currently. Are you reporting an emergency? Yes, hi. Um, he said, Are you reporting an emergency? Is this the emergency or is this a non-emergency line? Well, this is not emergency, but sometimes we get emergency calls on it. Are you reporting an emergency? Well, it's a, a medical kidnapping, so it's not uh, a deathly emergency. Yes, hi. We need to know what um, our rights are on a medical kidnapping situation. 
Um, we have a uh, medical kidnapping. So, baby is uh, born here at St. Peter's Providence. Mom um, had tested negative, but then tested positive um, for COVID uh, by the hospital, but had tested negative um, by um, the home birth. And so there is just a big back and forth situation with dad wanting to take the baby home. The baby's healthy. We had an attorney um, file a cease and desist letter and the attorney said to contact the sheriff department because um, you guys do have some legal grounds to basically protect and serve in regards to a cease and desist uh, letter for the hospital to back off because there's no legal grounds for them to hold the baby. Okay, so what is your name? Hello? What's your name? Christine. Here. What's your name? Christine. Okay, and uh, what's your last name, Christine? Gail, G A L E. And then who, are, who are you? Are you related to this child? Or what? So I'm helping dad. I'm advocating for dad. Dad's in the hospital right now getting mom out. They're releasing mom, but they're keeping the baby on no grounds, no legal grounds whatsoever. Okay, so are you are you an attorney? No, just ad helping advocate for um, dad and mom. Okay. And I'm the one so that's in touch with the yeah. attorney. Okay, so we need to talk to the dad or mom. Uh, okay. So when you're when they're done, get checked out. If you want to have them call, we can have an officer get in touch with them. Perfect. Um, can I can okay. I get a contact number for them? That's the same number you call them. So just so have them call the same number, and they have to be the ones that do the report. Correct. So we don't. We can't, I have no idea of identifying who you are and whether or not you actually speak for them because, you know, people can say anything. Yeah, so that's yeah. Why we need to talk to parents directly. So they Perfect. just give them the number, not the sheriff's office, because it's going to be only a police department. They're the ones that are responsible for that area. Um, and then you can uh, have the uh, family speak with them. And not the sheriff's department? No, they'll only be a police department. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Bye. Not the sheriff's department. That's yeah, their jurisdiction. that is their jurisdiction. But that's how quick they want to uh, not be held responsible. It's pretty sad. And I'm pretty sure it's the city police that led, escorted the father out of the hospital yeah. yesterday. Um. So this is the thing. Uh, there, that is wrong. You do not need to have a judge um, unless. It is a case that has already gone through the court system. This is not a case that has gone through the court system. All I needed to get my daughter out was nothing but a cease and desist letter, and uh, my daughter was released, along with a phone call to the um, police. So now that um, we know that they will take the report from mom or dad, we will have a dad call right away. And um, we're gonna make them uh, hold to their word. So what I'm gonna do on my other phone is contact dad and get him to uh, call them and get this moving already so we can get uh, them completely out of this disgusting mess. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. We're contacting him. Um, But well, there you guys have you it. See Charlie sign. You're gonna put that CEO on. Paul Wilkinson. Um, she will know all your groups are in. Okay. We have. Drink. Drink. Thank you guys for showing up. Hey Joey. We got Joey over here. Hey hey hey. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? Good good. Yeah, we just did. So they want dad to call and um, basically put in the report and uh, that they'll deal with him once he's the one that puts in the report as long as they know the background, which I gave them a background about it. And um, they said that they need to hear from mom or dad. So is he going to call? I have um, her on live down there and I'm texting with him and just waiting to hear back from him.
I know. It's insane. Bring you back memories. <laughs> yeah, except. Yeah. Yep. Well, what's insane is that she tested negative with the. Um, well, why does it matter if she tests positive? Or not? It doesn't. That's the thing, and that's She's what dad's. Carrying the baby for seven months in her body. Uh huh. So, what's the problem? And she needs breast milk. So yep. Anyway. I know. know. Exactly. And that baby belongs to the parents. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Shift change. No, twelve-hour shifts. If anybody know what the shift change is um, over here, what state is this? This is um, Washington. Jada Tomlin. All right, let's see. It looks like she already got uh, taken care of. Hang on, you guys. Just trying to uh, backtrack real quick on the comments here to get the phone number. And I think somebody else already took care of the other one too. So that's perfect. Um, if anybody knows the shift change, that would be awesome. I know, I know. There's like, I would have loved that. And he's like, hey, I just want to go get hit by a car. Starting to rain. Seven. Okay, okay. seven p.m. Okay. is shift change. My sister works at. Uh, seven p.m. is what I got Providence. so far. Seven to seven, I think. So far, that's about one, two, three, four people saying that. Seven. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's seven o'clock. My husband works at the hospital. Six. Seven seven. Normally six doctors and seven for nurses. Uh, seven o'clock, Kelly. Seven o'clock. If anybody actually confirms that, nurses around come in around 5.30 to 6.30. 6.30 to 7. Call local news. Um, oh, wow. I'm gonna um, hop off here for a little bit, you guys, and get some recharge. But we got um, a lot of support coming out. You guys are a true blessing. Those of you that have came out to stand with us, to- um, would, um, Should I go get the tent to go right here? Yeah, so let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go do it. Real quick. Okay, okay, let's go. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go grab a tent. Look at this. We got Joey down here now. We got Kylie's fight down got here. Kylie. I'm just live on my own page now for a, a few minutes because I haven't gone live on this all day. Thanks for being out here, guys. Where were you live? Uh, People's Rest, Washington. Okay. I know. I was just gonna actually log. Look at all the people down there. Oh wow. They do it down there too. So great. It's always a good day to stand for freedom. Like always. Always a good day to do what's right. It's always a good day to defend your neighbor. It's always a good day to defend the Constitution. It's rain or shine. Family members that this is happening. It's not somebody else. It's a good day. God bless all the people who have supported and helped and brought us signs. And um, sounds like Heidi St. John is going to maybe do a, a live stream in a little bit. Somebody else said Lars Larson was reporting on this case. So. You guys are getting the You guys are out. awesome. Thank you, Thank you for Thank you. Um, tagging. I saw a lot of tagging going on yeah. earlier. You guys are a blessing. You're bringing so much attention. Um, and you're bringing it to all the right people. Yep. And uh, that's huge. We're going to go get a tent for everybody to stand under. Man, we've gone through. Oh, there's people on both sides of the street down here. Yeah. Oh, all four. I know. Sweet. Oh okay. no. 
Uh, we're gonna get soaked. I gotta put my hood on. So here, here, pop in your hair real quick. <laughs> <laughs> a refuge under this tree for a minute. It's like it it's is like freaking ready to be pouring. Oh, that's all. So we'll go get a tent. And I've actually got um, two things from Costco. We're gonna so set up shop, you guys. Keep on coming down here. Those of you guys that can't come till later, so, so be it. But keep on coming out. I can't be there physically, but I can do whatever I can. You're awesome, Lori. Thank you. We can all huddle. Yeah, I guess we could set up one of the single car garage. Why not one down here and one? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we need to get them on um, but there'll be a lot of traffic coming through in a little bit for shift, shift change. Shift change. Shift change. Have you seen any down here? Haven't been hassled by anybody, so that's good. I'm sorry, this is so bumpy. <laughs> I am not a professional live streamer. What is this? We're gonna go, oh, that's so beautiful. Hold up, guys. Let me turn my camera around so you can see. So there's the parent's permission slip right there. They've got Bill of Rights right there, the Fourth Amendment. They're, that's their protection to take their baby home. Uh -huh. Here's the Declaration of Independence, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm about ready to declare my independence from Governor Jay Inslee and his tyranny. <laughs> when the course That's of right. human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the cause which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to Check secure these guys. rights, governments are instituted among Fourth men, right deriving there. their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate the government long established. Sorry. And these lean laminated. Yeah, I lost my spot. Should not be charged, should not be changed for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience has shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are, all right, you guys get the point, are sufferable. Listen, though, Fourth, Fourth Amendment right, right there. I the right it. of the people to here. secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effect against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause. Do you understand that? Upon probable cause there is no warrant here that is uh their person okay and that is how it works you guys it is in black and white right here supported by oath and affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized they have no right the right of the people to be secure in their persons houses okay that is all right and we should be secure um, in uh, where the heck did she already go? And now I can't tell. Um, but we need to be able to stand on our rights, you guys. That's all we have at the end of the day is our rights. And this baby needs to go home. We need to free Grayson. He needs to go home with mom and dad as it is absolutely disgusting and against uh, their rights and they have every right for uh, being able to take the baby home until they can prove otherwise so we need to be able to do that um we were gonna go and pick up the tent real quick and test the negative again i know it's it's insane um I heard that too, but B, I am waiting for confirmation. I heard the third test is negative, uh, but we're waiting for confirmation. So that's two. Um, 
against the one. So um, you guys, you know, you guys do what you want with that. Uh, I call nothing but a croc. That's what I call. So um, uh, I'm going to, my phone's about ready to die. That's the negative. Um, so I'm going to hop off here for a little bit. But anybody that has um, any other uh, cases like this and situations, uh, message us and we will get you guys in touch um, with advocates in your state because this is not okay. No parent should be separated from your baby at birth. I don't care what it is, okay? We have rights and we need to stand on our rights and just because they're sick and corrupt gives them no right to take our children, period. I don't care who you are. I don't care how high up you are. You have no right. We do. You're just trying to take our, our rights away constantly with your sick little agendas. And the more that we allow for it to happen, the more their sick little tactics are going to prevail. So we need to put our foot down and stand our ground. Uh, Nana, I will tag you when I get back on here or I'll even text you. But um, I'm going to need both hands because I need to help um, Miss Little Kelly over here grab a tent. We're going to set up shop and um, we're going to uh, do what we got to do. Um, Lori. Don't allow them to do. Exactly. trying to watch as much on the um, comments here but we have an amazing support you guys very blessed to have help and um, foot on the ground from here all the way down to the other um, stoplight except everybody's kind of getting in and um, getting under a huddle and uh, we're gonna go and grab our tent here. Callie, come on! And once uh, we get back on and set up tent, we'll get back on and keep going. But uh, we're over here in Olympia, Washington at Providence St. Peter's um, Hospital. They are keeping a brand new baby, newborn, away from mom and dad. And um, it is absolutely disgusting and it's wrong. Look at Lori's comment. All right, let me see. Um, we're going to both go off life in order to carry everything. And then we're going to both go back on. But um, it started raining and stuff, so we need to get covered really quick. And if you're on here advertising, I'm going to remove you off. So keep your advertisements to yourself. This is for a situation to help out. Parents, don't take advantage of opportunities to put your stuff on here. If it has nothing to do for the support. Yeah! <laughs> I'm reading the damn comments! <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to the hospital. You want to go? Hi. Oh, I thought she wanted me to go to the hospital. Oh. <laughs> Do you out here and, uh, we need you sure we get out get out get out, get out. Get out here, and, uh, come help us 
us with the tent. Come help us with the tent. We got Joey out here. We got Kelly out here. Oh, and we got the rain out here. And now the sunshine. Can't make up his mind. Um, People's Rights Washington. I shared it on my page. Washington people's rights. No, people's rights Washington. We need help. <laughs> We're freaking so tired. So we need help with the pet. We're going to get the kids set up and we'll talk about it later. All right, we're going to log off, you guys. But we'll all be right back on after we get the tent set up. Okay? We are. Shut up. We are. I promise. <clears throat> if I had somebody here to hold it, I would, but it's going to take all three of us to freaking grab it. Should we drive over there? Yeah, but you shouldn't have him. It's like scary. Can you both sit up front? Get up front, Joey. I'll get, I can hop in the back. All right, see you guys. Um, I need to get my charger. And then um, I'll hop back on here, you guys. But don't stop on the phone calls. Don't stop on the tagging when we hop back on. We're going to set up shop and then um, we're going to um, get uh, moving towards the hospital and get in touch with dad. So thank you, Sheila, for sharing. Thank you, Lori. Love you too, girl. You guys are awesome. We'll be back on here. Joey, me, Callie. All right. God bless. We'll be live here shortly.